You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. Thursday, February 8th, 10 a.m. Eastern, the U.S. Supreme Court hears a challenge from former President Donald Trump to Colorado's decision to ban him from the state's presidential primary under the 14th Amendment. The amendment section 3 was implemented after the Civil War to keep former Confederate leaders from holding office. It specifies that an officer of the United States who took an oath to protect the Constitution but engaged in insurrection or gave aid or comfort to those who did is ineligible to hold office. The questions likely to be raised by Trump's lawyers are, is the president an officer of the United States as defined by the 14th Amendment, Section 3? Does the 14th Amendment even allow states to enforce Section 3? Or is it solely Congress's responsibility? And does blocking a political party from offering the candidates of its choice violate the party's right to free speech? Failure to meet any of these standards results in Trump remaining on the ballot. The Colorado Supreme Court found 25 instances where the Constitution referred to the office of the president. It also found that the evidence substantiated that Trump engaged in insurrection and that a conviction was not required to meet this standard. We have links to an excellent explanation of these issues at SCOTUS blog and a link to the U.S. Supreme Court's Thursday audio feed at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal. Follow us on Facebook at American Democracy Minute.